Uh, here in South Florida, we had a partial eclipse, and you would not even have known it happen unless you looked at the sun through special eclipse glasses. That's right, and Education on Six reporter Ari Adzer watched it all with a bunch of high school students who took their science classes outdoors today. Ari, who had more fun, you or the kids? That's debatable, Jackie. We had a great time. And as you know, we here at Education on Six love to highlight a good teaching moment. And we saw an extraordinary one here today at Terra Environmental Research Institute. This is a public magnet high school. As the name would suggest, the people here know a good environmental opportunity when they see one. So they handed out the nifty little eclipse glasses, and everybody looked up. So cool, so interesting. It's, it's fascinating, it's fascinating. Everyone who sees a solar eclipse, even a partial one, walks away impressed by the celestial show. Uh, I think this is amazing, you know, it's uh, great to see this stuff that happens like not so often in a lifetime, you know, and being a part of it with all these people around us, it's just great. It's pretty cool that we get to miss some class for this, and it's like the first time that I've ever seen an eclipse. This is a lot better than watching something on YouTube or seeing it in a textbook, right? Yeah, because you're able to experience it, and you can't always experience the things that you see, so it's good. So I've learned you need three things to successfully watch an eclipse. Sunscreen on, glasses on, and a heating pad for later. It's so vivid. It's like, wow, that's really cool. Teachers made pinhole cameras, which project the eclipse image inside the box. Students were also told to look for crescent shapes under the trees. And there they were. What I'm preparing you for is to participate a little bit in citizen science. There's a Lisette Perez Munoz taught the solar eclipse 101 lesson before the moon passed in front of the sun. She wasn't about to let her students miss this opportunity. I think it intrigues them and it gets them involved in, you know, seeing nature. And hopefully it does spark that interest that makes them, you know, go into the science field and learn more about nature and learn more about sciences and hopefully even make positive changes. So what do you think about what you're seeing? It's great. It's my first time. Isaac Litton took these fantastic photos using a special filter on his camera. He learned photography techniques. Everyone learned about solar eclipses, and some kids learned a song from the 80s. Let's just say those kids are not in the chorus program, but now that song is definitely stuck in your head for the rest of the day. So we in South Florida experienced 46% coverage of the sun by the moon today. Not enough to make things go dark, not enough to make animals freak out, but certainly enough to make the kids here experience something that they're never going to forget. We're live in Kendall, our Riyadzer, NBC6 News.